Hello my fellow creator, my name is Stancy and you're in the Stancy Nova channel, the best place for creative people who want to live better. We have been blessed by the weather of gods. We have been blessed by the gods of weather. I don't know what we've done to deserve this, but this is perfect. It's sunny, it's hot, it's not windy and it's not gonna rain. And this is important because today we are having a festival and party and workshops happening right here in Casa Cocolores and you are invited. Welcome to the Arabic House Healing Festival in Fuerteventura. Thank you. <laughs> From the very beginning, even before the festival officially started, I was super excited. I felt like there is no better place to be on the whole planet right now. It felt amazing to be surrounded by a vibrant community of creative and like-minded people. Everyone contributed something to the event, which made it so, so special. We had a lot of workshops happening. The first one was the festive makeup workshop hosted by Sylvia. If you are not new to my channel, you may remember Sylvia. We spent like a whole day together shooting product photos and lifestyle photos. It was super fun. If you are new to my channel, well, hello and welcome. You can watch those videos after you finish this one. I will have them linked in the description. Meanwhile, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will get a little ding dong every time I upload another one of my amazing videos. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so this is my makeup for now, just a little tiny dots around my brows, but I want to spice it up and add a little bit of color, maybe gold, maybe silver. I've done this on my hand. I feel like this was one of the most popular workshops. Sylvia was busy all the time because everybody wanted to put on some glitter and get in the mood. <laughs> Look, there's a bunch of inspiration pictures right here. <gasps> Sweet! Oh my god, you did it so beautiful on you! The dog is literally just peed on the sign with the timetable. And that's nice. That's real nice. Mina, Katila, Saidis, Pasiva. Minya Sabot, Mina. And then we spent much more time than I want to admit doing makeup and putting glitter on our faces and hands. And then it was time to officially start the festival with an opening ceremony. Sisi Karini, the DJ and the mastermind behind this Arabic house healing festival, led a meditation to help everyone get on the same vibe and connect to the energy of gratefulness. In this moment, everybody knew that this day is gonna be magical because everyone was open for the magic to happen. Yeah. The next activity was a chanting meditation led by magnificent Nina and Borja. I especially love this meditation, not only because Nina is my friend, okay, but because everybody was there. We were chanting mantras for each chakra to bring it into balance. Just get a taste of how it went. La At this moment, I felt like another one of my dreams is coming true. I've wanted to attend this kind of festival for ages. I didn't want to go to a rave, get wasted and dance until 2 a.m. in the morning. It's much more enjoyable to party with a purpose. The purpose of healing, playing, letting go and connecting with the community. 
After the chanting meditation, we all split up to participate in different workshops. I was invited to host an art healing workshop. The idea was to give people space and art supplies to embrace their inner artists. I collected a bunch of dry leaves and branches around the property and offered to transform them into vibrant and colorful art pieces with acrylic paint. It was a very meditative activity. It was awesome to feel this childish energy flourish at the table. Nothing was structured. Everybody was experimenting. Everyone was having fun. People would come and go at different times. It was super chill. And I'm super grateful that I was invited to lead this workshop. It was fun for me and fun for everybody else. And that's what matters. And just look at what everyone created. How amazing it is. There were so many workshops happening at the same time, it was impossible to experience it all. So many cool and fun things like a massage workshop where you could learn some stress relieving techniques, a pottery workshop where you could play with clay, and a sound healing workshop too where you could listen to some ambient tunes in a garden. So I redid my makeup, I cleaned my workshop, that's finished, now it's time for a party. I'm gonna go get a drink and just relax for the rest of the evening. And all of the workshops were wrapped up before the sunset and we had one more meditation to seal the gratitude in our hearts before we hit the dance floor. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. We're gonna start now with real beats and uh, everything. We're gonna dance. Okay, Federico, are you coming? Finally, we got to party together. Video, I hope to share the magic of this event. I hope you can feel this vibe. I hope you get inspired to express yourself the way you are and find a supportive community which accepts you. What do people talk about at this kind of parties? They talk about their journeys, about being in a flow, about being open to everything that comes their way, about being conscious, about love and grief and trauma and healing. They talk about psychedelics and herbal medicine and meditation and they share their insights. I feel super good finally having these conversations openly, knowing that I'm understood. I've come a long way to design my lifestyle like this, from being stuck and depressed in Prague to being free and full of joy in Fuerteventura. And this is just the beginning. Stick around for the journey, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.